Oh, beautiful sunrise. Although I'm late, it's probably going on nine now. And some people, actually critters, are just not cooperating this morning. Oh, and I got like a lot of things on the list to do today. Good morning. How are you? It's actually more than just sweater weather this morning here in southern Ohio. But it's still a beautiful day starting out here. I can't see what I'm showing you. I'm going to try to do this. <coughs> yeah, we're not going for a long walk today. I have quite the list of things to do today. Uh, first, of course, take care of the critters. And then I've got to load my van full of cleaning supplies, buckets, jugs of water. Um, let's see. I'll probably have to stop and buy paper towels somewhere. I don't know if I want to use my own wash rags for this job. But I'm going to go work on my sister's storage unit. It's actually our storage unit, but she's paying for it while she houses her things there. She's been waiting to find a place for a couple years since her eviction during COVID, which was pretty unsettling. Anyway, I am pretty sure no one's been there to take care of anything in a year or two. And the mice have probably made nice messes since it wasn't a weather, uh, a weatherized storage unit type unit, like some places. So, and you know, they crawl through holes, some of the rafters between units, and then there's the ventilation vents and things like that so i have to stop at the library well i don't have to stop at the library plan to stop at the library and sign up for there we go if i can uh, fluffy will let me do this Ta -da. um sign up for the reading program for the month 300 minutes of reading um let's see Oh, I haven't been to Dance Fitness at the Y for a couple of weeks, maybe more, due to different things. First is the fuel expense. Second is um, uh, the van's just not quite right. Even though they put a new radiator and some hoses on it, it's still requiring some refilling every so often. And not necessarily because I run the AC. <laughs> It does it either way, but it's, I can make three, four, maybe even five small 15-minute trips versus if I drive a long ways, like an hour to and from somewhere, I can make only about one or two trips like that. So I'm going to go try to get it prepared for them to come pick her things up this weekend or next weekend, the 14th. Um, so it's a little less work on her and her family, if I can help with that. I haven't been up to it physically, and I'm really not that much more up to it now, but I have a little more time. I'm feeling a little better, and hopefully I can just hit it on the way to and from, like say the Y, the library, twice a week, so maybe I can divide that up. And then if I have to go one more time, I'll go one more time. But it's going to be a big job for one person. And I don't have that much strength, stamina, and etc. that I did even five or ten years ago, you know. And I don't have the best right arm and shoulder. And that's my primary arm and sh <coughs> shoulder anyway. And my hands and my wrists. So, and my knees. So moving heavy things is quite a chore. And when I say heavy things, I don't even mean the big appliances, TVs, old TVs, bookshelves, you know, the old heavy entertainment centers, things of that nature. I mean anything that's even more than 5, 10, or 20 pounds, like uh, microwaves or uh, toaster ovens, combination cookware, like toaster oven, air fryer, microwave, things like that. Anything. A little more than five pounds has always been daunting for me since the car wrecks like the double car wrecks or whatever you want to call it back in 92 93 
and I've probably been in a few since then. So a lot over the decade. And it's catching up with me now that I'm about 69. 68. I want to be 68 and holding. Can I do that? And I'd like to heal up more. So it will be a good 68 and holding. <laughs> or better than it's been. I already noticed out on this cold morning. The knee that got the torn meniscus in it. Is hurting. That's my right knee. So my right side is not my prominent side anymore I guess you'd say um okay what's up in your world <laughs> I was going to say what's up Fluffy but she's actually what the what's down <laughs> so what's up in your world what's your weather like where you are um what's your plans if you have plans that you don't mind sharing some people don't want to share their plans for personal reasons and I respect that Oh. So, my list of things to do. So, it's going to be probably the library and then the Y, or the Y and then the library. But either or, after that, it will be grabbing maybe some uh, already prepared, like Lysol wipes or something. I'm not sure if you can say a brand name on here sanitizing wipes. How about that? We'll say sanitizing wipes instead of naming a name brand. I just like them best. They're better than the others. They seem to do a better job. They last longer. They're made a little heavier. And I just like them better. I have a murder of crows or something in the back field. You know, where the soybean field is that they cut down I, I shared a video last night about that and um there are some birds just going nuts back there I just don't want to try walking all the way back up you Missy better quit giving me a heart I'm going to sit down here and rest because you're, now what are you after get out of there I'm going to sit down for a second and catch my breath now. I don't know what she had her nose in there. Right, she sometimes will pick stuff up and try to eat stuff she's got no business eating. Like, you know, raccoon poop or something. Phew. All right. Uh, I'm just going to sit here and catch my breath and maybe rest my knee. It's actually not hurting down here. It's actually hurting up in here. So I'm not really sure what that's about. Hmm. So, I think the milkweed pods are done. Oh. So I'm trying to think of what else is on my list for the day. I'm sure there was one more thing. I'm cleaning my own cabinets in my kitchen out still. Check and see what she's doing. I better get up and just move. Just about time my knee quits hurting, right? <laughs> get up and move. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, what are you doing to prepare for the seasonal changes? Oh, I can't say the names probably, but I saw another YouTube video, and I don't know if I can do one or not, but this gal, I think it was on TikTok, was actually doing a pumpkin spice uh, video. <laughs> all things. Not all things, but a lot of things. Pumpkin spice. I mean, we're talking wardrobe, miscellaneous kitchen items, cleaning supplies, not to mention spiced teas or whatever. I don't know if I actually saw that in her video or not, but that would be the first thing I'd think of. I'm just not that big a pumpkin spice person. I'm into real pumpkin and pumpkin made goodies, cookies, breads, cupcakes. Shoot, I'd even try pumpkin fudge. I haven't tried making that yet, but that's a thought. So how crazy are you about all this pumpkin? Pumpkin spice. Like, it's not even that close to Thanksgiving yet, but it's fall. And it's time for, um, 
what do you call the corn maze and all that a lot of the orchards in different places are well they've already prepared them and got them ready i think they just opened this past weekend so i'm sure we'll be making a trip to one of those uh, farms and going on a ride all right gotta get off the road hold on a second Here she goes again. I wonder why she gets left behind, right? And she found, obviously, some critter in there. I just don't know what. My feet are just getting cold and I'm standing in the wet grass. I gotta move on. So anyway, tell me how much you like fall, pumpkins, pumpkin spice, Got any plans to go to any corn mazes or anything? Uh, fill me in. Love y'all.